Um, let's just return to domestic matters, Mr Cartledge. You'll probably have seen the headlines this morning talking about Rishi Sunak's Rwanda bill threatened to be torn to pieces by MPs. You've got some on one side of your party, the likes of uh, Marc Francois um, and uh, Danny Kruger and others, threatening that they will not vote for this bill unless it is strengthened, unless key amendments are added to it. And then you've got the One Nation group saying that they won't vote for it if it is amended. So the Prime Minister's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Meanwhile, Robert Jenrick and Suella Braverman, who were involved in the drafting of the legislation, say it isn't strong enough. It's not going to stop the boats. So it's a disaster, isn't it? Well, of course, it's, it's a hugely important issue where we've made enormous progress. As you know, um, small boat crossings down a third last year, when in many European countries um, you've seen sort of asylum numbers surging. Um, I think in, in Europe, 80 percent increase. Um, the point is, before second reading, which was before Christmas, we heard this sort of talk about um, the situation in Parliament, uh, and, and of course it passed very comfortably. That's not to say we won't be engaging as a government with backbenchers from, you know, with, with a wide range of views. I think that's absolutely right. But the key message is this. This is a very robust piece of legislation. It will enable us to create a deterrent so that we actually get people on the planes to Rwanda. We think that will send a very strong message because we've seen only today the terrible, tragic consequences of this horrific trade in human beings. And it's why we have to get this legislation through and why I'm bound to say that where we have a clear plan to deal with small boats, our opponents have no plan and will take us back to square one and have opposed all these measures. So, yes, it's going to be a busy week in Parliament. It will be a busy week in Parliament. James Cartledge, uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning.